Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for Monday, April the 8th, 2019. Well, let's take a look and see how these markets closed out for the day. And you can see here with the spiders, we had a gap down to start the day out with. You know, came down here, and then almost immediately it started back up, and we regained everything, and we closed uh, above uh, Friday's close. So a very nice recovery there on the spiders. You can see here we had 0.78 relative volume. You can see the volume bar down here that it was a very you know below average day in volume. But, you know, uh, price is uh, all that matters if you talk to uh, a lot of people out there. And we ended up for the day in the spiders. <clears throat> and with that, let's move on to the cues. And you can see we have pretty much the same story with the cues. That first 15-minute bar was down, and then it started recovering. We had a little pullback, uh, you know, midway, and then it just up for the rest of the day. You can see here we closed up for the day. Same thing here. We can see relative volume 0.76. We can see the volume bar right here. So a uh, very, very nice recovery on uh, the cues as well. Now let's go ahead and move on to the diamonds and see what the story is there. <clears throat> and you can see uh, we did have that gap down and recovery. Uh, you know, just uh, the gap down was a little bit bigger and the recovery not enough to overcome the uh, loss. So we are down below uh, yesterday or be below uh, Friday's close but we are still above Thursday's low. So, uh, you, know, uh, you know, no major damage done there. Same thing with the volume here. Almost average volume of 0.94, and you can see the volume bar right here. So, uh, you know, uh, as always, let's see what tomorrow has to bring. And with that... Let's move on to Holly and see how she did. Uh, and a lot of times when you have those gap days, Holly does struggle a little bit. So we look at Holly Grail, nine trades on the day, lost 30 cents, risk on loss of three cents. Uh, take a look, see what trades went into there. We had a short CVET. She made 14 cents on it on a timed exit. Uh, and had you stayed in until the end of the day, there was 24 cents there. And let's see, there was uh, at least one uh, PRQR, another short trade. She got out uh, for a timed exit and broke even. And then the trade did kick in and 25 cents had just stayed with that till the end of the day. Moving on to Holly 2.0, we had three trades and there was a loss of 29 cents, risk on loss of 98 cents. And there was a uh, HP was the uh, long trade. She made 15 cents on it, got out for a profit save. And then had you stayed in it, you would have ended up losing 45 cents on the day. And her best trade in the risk on was a loss of SLD B. So, uh, you know, that was a losing trade, uh, you know, in the risk on. Now let's go ahead and move our charts up and take a look at the holly neo and see how she did and you can see we had 13 trades on the day lost a dollar two risk on loss of 27 cents her best trade was mighty mouse nbrv 25 cent gain <clears throat> and if you held it till the end of the day only 20 cents and her best trade uh, for the risk on category was sgen and that was she actually got out and lost 52 cents on it uh and uh you know if you stayed in it well till the end of the day you would have made 53 cents so uh a big big turnaround on that one and so often we talk about that if uh holly picks it and it goes against you sometimes wait till it hits that entry point again and then there might be some uh, money to be made on it so uh, that is your holly report let's go ahead and bring in the excel spreadsheet and see how it totaled out for the day 25 trades a dollar 61 loss a dollar 28 was the risk on loss so a very tough day for holly today and uh, with that I just want to thank you for watching today. I want to remind you to subscribe to these videos. Uh, there will be a link right up on the left there. And uh, you can watch some video on the right here to uh, get some free stuff uh, from trade ideas to help you be a better trader. And there's uh, some uh, links below also that will save you if you want to try out the software. Hey, thank you and God bless.